What's going on, guys? It's Tom, and uh, I got a lot of people asking me questions about the uh, the new Blender here, which is uh, version 2.65. Uh, one of the newer versions. Uh, most people were using the old version, but um, I figured out how to use the new version here. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, a few things that you might need to know for basics on like putting textures on your models and just how to uh, try and function the program. So when you start off, you're going to see a difference here. You got two um, side panels here. Uh, this objects tool here is very useful. It's got things like delete, um, joining meshes, and when you go into uh, edit mode, I'm just going to use this cube for an example, you're going to see um, extruding and uh, rotating stuff like that but some of the hotkeys still work like rotate if you hit R you can and hit Z for Z axis you know can still rotate your object um, one of the big differences that a lot of people were asking me is how do you select verts because it's totally different you have to hit C once instead of double tapping B you hit C once and you can select that was a big one of the differences that I didn't even realize. I, I just taught myself how to use this here, so I was new to this as well. Um, here on you see your side panel, something totally different. We'll be getting to this in a minute. Um, so one of the basic things, a lot of people are asking me how to how you add textures because it's totally different. So I'm gonna um, use an example of one of uh, Rock Crawler's cars here. So I'm going to add a car like you would normally do. You just find the car, just like how you would in uh, the old Blender. Let's add that. And if you don't know how to do that in the other Blender, um, um, I believe there are other tutorials to do that. You can start there. So now we have the car in the game. So first, it, one of the new things that you're going to have to do is place this on a material. A lot of engines, including the Torque 3D engine that we have been messing around with lately, same thing with BeamNG, uh, you have to place the material on the model. It doesn't do it itself, which was seen in the other Blender. Um, so you have to go into edit mode here. Oh, well, that's a cube, my bad. Oh, here. Now you hit the new tab under the materials tab that's in this right side panel which is sort of a circular thing if you drag your mouse over it it'll say material you hit new so now there's a material on it I highly suggest renaming the material um, let's just say car here because I was having issues when exporting if you don't name the material it won't show up so I named that I'm named that material car. So now that you place the material on it, your textures will be able to show up. But before you add the UV, you take the UV editor out. We're gonna hit go under the textures panel, hit new. Now you're gonna see this come up. So now you're gonna want to go to type, and it gives you a uh, sorts of types of textures. But you want to add your own image or movie. Yes, you can put movies on objects. So now you go to open. You find one of your textures. I'm just going to use the white car texture. So now it hasn't shown up yet, but it's technically it's on the material. So what we're going to do now, you're going to drag this little menu out. You're going to see this plus menu right here but it's not open. You're just going to drag it out a little bit and there it is. There's a whole new menu. But first, you're going to need that in a little bit. Now split the area just like how you do in the other blender. Take out the UV image editor. So now here it is. Make it a little smaller. I know it's a little compact. It, it's a lot easier if you have a uh, dual monitors. So now we're going to place the. You're not going to see it yet still blank. Go to textures, go to generate it and hit UV. Now go to display on this new uh, side panel. Now, texture solid. 
and there your texture shows up. Notice you're not even in textured mode. You don't need to be in textured mode for the textures to show up. Is you hit textured sol solid. And I also highly suggest hitting back face culling because you can now see through the back faces, which makes it a ton easier to, to detect back faces. Um, back faces are a huge problem if you if your track or uh, truck has back faces, you will not be seeing that texture in game, which is a huge pain in the ass. Also, you're gonna um, need a new uh, exporter for the new blender. You cannot use the old one. The old plugin will not work for the new blender. So I have a tutorial on Sim Monsters. If you follow that, you should get up to this point here. Um, where you at export the Ogre 3D will show up. And click and some people were asking me about it, so I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is just um this side pa uh well, this is the side panel, but what shows up here is where the um your mesh and whatnot is gonna export. So right here, you're not gonna most of this you just wanna keep the same because you don't want separate materials that you do definitely don't want that you want everything in one material file everything else you don't need this scene file I don't know what that's for but you don't need it for um, uh, rigs or rods you know it doesn't matter if you hit it or check it or not because you can always delete it later um, I didn't change anything else when uh, I exported and all my stuff showed up fine in game so yeah, that that's basically it. Um, then you just hit export, and then you use the normal uh, process you do to adding your track or truck in game, and it should show up fine in game. I had no issues um, doing that. So I hope this uh, tutorial helps. If anyone has any uh, questions, just feel free to ask me on Sim Monsters.